So there's a street light, not far outside my house. I figured I'd pull over. I, you know, I want tomorrow to be a good thing, an optimistic thing. And, you know, you, you have these days. Realistically, let's look at what we had. 8 to 5 morning line with more than my heart. 9 to 5 morning line with Path of Totality. 9 to 5 morning line with That's My Girl. Uh, 2 to 1 morning line with Mama Knows Best. And the other Phillies, what, 3, 4 to 1, something like that. So you're looking at five real good shots. Real good shots. Get to the Meadows. Yeah, I talked about in the earlier video what happened with uh, Won My Heart Hanover. First start with no hobbles on. You know, she's a little skittish. She's like driving a baby, right? And she rolled off. I would said to Tim, I think before we get too concerned, there's some changes we can make with, um, you know, with Won My Heart Hanover just to you know, help her out. we got to put the hobbles back on. Fine, I guarantee you she'll race next year, all next year with no hobbles on. But right now, let's not panic. You know, I don't want to get into that. If you want to know my how I feel about that, go back and watch the other video about her. Uh, Path to Totality just wasn't super comfortable today. You could tell going up to the gate, she never runs like that unless something's bugging her. Um, it didn't appear to be a lameness issue pulling up, but I did ask Tim, have the vet look at it, and Tim and I both saw that her right stifle was shaking. Again, uh, a transition back to the meadow. She, she struggled when she first went there last year also. So, again, got to work with her. Okay, that's over with. Still got the horses at Northfield Park. Uh, and I had some pacers that were picked to win, too. To be honest, as far as a driver goes, pretty good program to be looking at. I get there, miss the one in the first. Doesn't matter. It's a pitch out anyway. Um, uh, the judges had listed me on the horse after the draw come out. and I, I couldn't make it. It was impossible. Uh, race three. So now I've made two breaks today. Race three, I roll in behind the gate with a horse I've driven three, four times. He runs. Now, in fairness, he wasn't as good tonight. He seemed a little off. But nevertheless three breaks and three starts it's, you know it's it'll rattle you it's like a pitcher that can't hit the strike zone or a batter that can't hit the ball I'm a little rattled now I'm going on the track with that's my girl a known offender for making breaks from the nine hole I don't know what I'm going to do I just want to keep her safe she was perfect tonight perfect tonight much much better I guarantee you she was going to win the length of the Ohio turnpike all I had to do was just move her over she's gone and she was awesome Hobbles broke, coming to the half. Brand new strap put on those hobbles last week. And and this is the time of year where, you know, I don't have to tell Jason. I know he's going to look at them and say, okay, make sure they're good. Because we've had this happen before, right? So, uh, hobbles break. Four breaks in a row. Come on the track, drive some five-year-old Cadabra, finishes fourth, or at least I'm, I'm off the board. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I've now got a horse around. Um and I win with some long shot. I'm feeling pretty good. Mama knows best, two weeks off, upper class. Eh. I, gee, she, she wanted to leave tonight. Fantastic, but now the rail's all chewed up. It's full of material. It's, you know, it's not a good track. I'm thinking, don't run, please don't run. So, But, you know, I had to summon all my testosterone to leave out of there with her, knowing that if she runs, the egg on my face would be incredibly hard to get off. But she felt great, busted out of there. I should have just left Aaron where he was. But again, I'm up a class, off two weeks. And she started sucking wind. She was in heat bad tonight. Two very different things, but one, I guess, could have led to the other. Um, still felt good through a half and 57, big half for her. Horse on the front looks done. Uh, backfield stug. The one in behind me is a long shot. I see somebody coming out of the clouds. So I'm thinking, I'm going to play a little defense. Two things. One, I want to get Mama up in the grill of the horse on the front end. She'll usually finish on her, but I don't want her to get away from me in the turn. So just let her saunter up alongside. Plus, you're going to leave whoever that is coming from the far outside. You're going to leave them three, three deep. Um, you know, just play a little defense. And Mama didn't fire home well at all. Now, in fairness, it went 56 in the mud. It's not her fault. I thought she raced well. She felt a lot stronger on the front end. And if I had just stayed where I was, I'm no worse than third. I might have won. I might have been second. No worse than third. As it turns out, I was fifth. So my defensive play that I thought was a, a, a game changer turned out to be a, a bonehead move. And I, and I ended up costing us money, third and fifth instead of third. Um, so now the hopes of my entire day lay in the uh, paws, the hooves of War We Welcome. Uh, I'm thinking two horses, 14 for 14 last year, but she's, you know, this. these are three-year-olds. War We Welcome, 
you know, maybe I cut her loose too early last week. If I can get away in behind that horse, follow, who knows. I knew as soon as the gate picked up speed. Before, when she won those two starts, she was really grabby. You had to watch her. She run on Hunter Myers. And then last week, too, just busted out of there. But tonight, now it stopped raining. And it is like a bowl of soup. It, the track is bad, and it's like 28 degrees. You almost have a stroke in your mud suit. It's just a horrible, horrible atmosphere for this filly. And I could tell. Two steps out of the gate, she really, you could feel her leaning into her head check. She didn't have that bulliness to her. But I don't want to let the three go. I'm thinking, get him out of the way, put one in. Aaron's going to come with the nine horse. We all saw the two make a break. You know, so stack them up. 28 and two, and it felt like we went a half in like a minute. It pops up 58 and three or something. Um, nowhere is anybody coming. Now the seven is coming. Not a great horse, but okay. And I'm thinking, fine. You fooled me last week. I'm just going to sit into you. She runs out a little bit halfway down the back stretch, and I could tell. And she starts wandering. She's looking for air, right? So around the last turn, the horse collars me. I hit her a couple of swats, and she fizzles out and finishes fifth and then pulls up, and I can hear her making a little lethargic noise. Just a terrible, terrible night for her. But just a terrible, terrible day for me. You know, there was a span of nine hours when I didn't keep a horse trotting or pacing. Stonebridge Simba training trip was the last time I kept a horse on gate before race number seven, six, seven, something like that. So, a bad day. In 300 feet turn I left guess to Hollow Wood Drive. I'm home. I don't need your help. I guess um, when it, what it boils down to is just you're going to have those days, right? The no hobbles on the eight to five shot. The belly hobbles on the nine to five shot. Both make breaks. The broken hobbles on the on the sure, absolutely stone cold, 100% positive winner, broke, right? Mama, little flat, little short, muddy, whatever, and I cost her too. So I mean, truthfully speaking, without the broken hobbles tonight, pitch out the meadows. Without the broken hobbles tonight, we would have won with that's my girl certainty. Um, would have should have been third with Mama knows best and. You know, if I guess if I cut somebody loose, maybe I'm third or fourth with War We Welcome, but I would have been first or second with the other horse. Now, that would have been enough for the night. Only nice old man comes up to me and said, Son, listen, I know you've heard this a lot in your driving career. This is a better horse than he shows. Classic trainer line. He said, Can you just give, her, give him a chance? I said, Well, you've come to the right place because I've had a bad day, so I'll be sure to give your horse a chance. I got Roy Hill on the inside of me. The horse I'm driving is no less than 40 to 1 in his last five starts, every start. I bust him out of there, and I must have sparked him up pretty good because he took a pretty good hold of me. I'm at the half in 57. I'm thinking, geez, I just got Roy in behind me. You know, I let him dance down the back stretch, and Roy gets up and beats me. Just a little salt in the wounds, a little knife in the back from old Roy. A parting shot. So good for Roy Hill. You won a race. You won two races this year. I'm so happy for him. Um, he raced good, 54 and four. Uh, I told the gentleman that I drove for, put some earplugs in your horse next time and old Roy won't be going by. Um, but it's just a bad day, one of those days. And, you know, um, I wanted to get this off my chest, as I said, because I get, there's a lot going on tomorrow. Super enthusiastic about tomorrow. You know, I've learned in 20 years, you know, I keep telling you guys, um, about the old man that, that told me, listen, son, you got to know when the race is over. Well, when I hit end on this video, the races are over. I'm going to focus on the babies we have tomorrow, the task at hand, and getting back to work. Um, these things happen. You know, uh, uh, a day full of mishaps. One, my heart was good. Path to totality was good. That's my girl was good. One, our mama knows best was good. And weren't we welcome? A little flat, a little shallow, but not a great day for her so it wasn't that the horses were bad it was just a as I said a day of mishaps a day I will quite quickly put behind me in 10 or so seconds so 11 a.m. it all starts tomorrow 20 qualifiers plus holy chick 21 I will talk to you all you guys tomorrow you can be sure of that and uh, for all my partners on the horses here and tomorrow in Ontario Good luck, long season ahead of us, and hopefully a wonderful step forward tomorrow. Take care.